Thank you, 602, your time developing this morning. 5G technology rolls out all across the country this morning. Yeah, except near some airports mm -hmm. where there's mm -hmm. concerns it could cause interference with the plane's instruments. And Nestor Mato joining us live from Orlando International Airport this morning. And uh, Nestor, some major airlines, I know Emirates, one of those, has already canceled flights to Orlando because of 5G. Yeah, airlines all over the world are really canceling or changing flights to the U.S. because of the rollout of 5G today. And you said it just this morning, the United em uh, Arab Emirates announced they were canceling flights, including those coming right here to Orlando International. So the FAA actually announced that they were going to ban 5G coverage around 50 airports, including Orlando International, for six months. The nation's largest carriers are concerned that the 5G frequency is dangerously close to the frequencies used by aircrafts to measure altitude. The airlines are asking for 5G buffer zones so that the technology isn't activated within two miles of airports. Now, we talked to an instructor at the Florida Institute of Technology. He says that the interference causes dangerous problems for planes at takeoff and landing. Let's say you have a less powerful radio station and then very close on the dial is a very, very much more powerful one. And that more powerful one, sometimes you'll hear a little bit leaking over, even though you have the correct frequency tuned in. So it's similar to that kind of situation. All right, so 5G service is really just speeding up our data on our phone so that way we can use all the streaming apps and all the internet that we use so commonly now on our phones. They are being rolled out by cell phone companies, just not near airports. I'm live at Orlando International, Nestor Mato, Fox 35 News.